how to pick or find a book in the STM library. First things first, you have to log into your Moodle account and find the STM library course. Now, if there's no library course in your Moodle dashboard, pause this video right now. Mrs. Johnstone or Mrs. Lagrange will need to get you enrolled in the course. When you open the library Moodle page, this is what you should see. It should look like any of your other classes in Moodle. If for some reason you are seeing something that looks different, chances are you used the library web link at the top of Moodle, and this is just what the public might see, but you will not get access to any of the password protected resources. So make sure you're always on the library Moodle page. Once you've opened the library Moodle page, the first thing to do is to scroll down and find the section called Finding Books. After opening that section, you will see resources that we will have provided for you and may update throughout the year to help you make different book selections. The key link that's on this particular page is the Alexandria link. This is the link to our library catalog and this is where you will find any of the books that we have here at the STM library. While there is a login option at the top of the screen, we currently do not have this feature set up. Use the search button that looks like a magnifying glass to start your search. The easiest way to search is to leave this drop down menu on Smart Search and just type either the title of the book you're looking for or the author's last name. I didn't even have to hit enter. I just typed the book and it eventually did the search. It actually came up right away and I can see a couple of things about this book. First off, I can see that the book is actually checked out and I can confirm it is the book that I'm looking for because it's the one by Tamora Pierce. If I wanted more information, there is a little arrow off to the right and I could expand it and it would give me a summary of the book and a couple of keywords that are related to that book. I will point out that the number next to Accelerated Reader right here is a misleading because 5.7 is not how many AR points it's worth. If you see a number right here, it's because the system is set up to show you the reading level of the book. I'm going to do a totally separate video about AR, but I just wanted to make sure you see that this 5.7 is not the point value. You just click on the little I and then you can see how many points that this book is worth. I can also have done this search by typing in the author's name. Notice I just did first name, last name. I could do last name, first name. If I don't see the book that I am looking for right away, I can scroll through and there it is still checked out. If I had just typed in the author's last name, I will get many more options and the likelihood of me finding it is smaller, although I scroll far enough, I do eventually find it. I do need to make sure though that I spell the last name correctly because it will not give me that option to find what I'm looking for if the name's not spelled right. So if you're pretty sure we have an author and no results are coming up, check your spelling. That could be the issue. The last example I'll show you with this particular book is what would I do if I knew some things about the book but I wasn't sure the exact title and I wasn't sure about the author. So maybe I knew that the book was fantasy, so I could just search fantasy. Now it shows I have 50 results 
Now, if I can cl keep clicking find more, because it's only gonna show me 50 at a time, as long as I see find more, that is going to give me other options as well until I don't see any more. So there's at least 922 books that are in some way labeled with fantasy. Maybe I did remember that the word will appeared somewhere in the title. Suddenly it's there. Maybe I remembered the book was fantasy and I knew that the fact that the main characters were friends was important. That at least helps me narrow it down a little bit more and that only gives me 83 results that I can now scroll through. If I still looking at these books, I'm not entirely sure. I can do my expand and read the little summary and hopefully I'll eventually find I'm having to scroll pretty far. Yep, there it is. So I can find things if I know elements of the book or maybe I just know I like books that are fantasy and deal something to do with school or schools because like Harry Potter was set in a school. So suddenly I have a list of books that are all related to schools and they were fantasy in some way. This type of search is really helpful when you aren't really sure what you want to read, but you at least have a sense of what you've liked in the past or maybe just what you're currently in the mood for. So maybe I really want to read a mystery book right now, but maybe I am also looking for some romance. Tips, always choose and um, try to alternate some of your search terms because you're limiting your results to just things that have those exact words. But I have 52 books now that I can sort of explore and look to see if they are something that I feel like checking out right now. I will point out that most of our books that are items in a series are labeled in some way as book two or perhaps book four. So you're gonna wanna see if it is an item in a series. Normally that opening part would tell you if there's nothing listed here, then it's probably a standalone book. If it has a book one, then that's really where you're gonna wanna start reading if that book seems interesting to you. I will point out that if you find a book that seems really interesting but it's say book three of a series, sometimes the series name is the easiest thing to search or perhaps the author's last name and maybe some aspect of the book. And when I show up in the library, I'll be able to look at the spine label. You can see what I mean here because the series name Circle Reforged is abbreviated as CR and there's a number one right next to it. If this book was not currently checked out to me, you would find it on the shelf in fiction under PIE for Tamora Pierce and grouped with her other books in the series. So we have covered how to access Alexandria, our online catalog, how to search for a book you want, or even how to search for a type of book you're interested in, and how to make sure that your book is the first in a series. In part two, we will talk about how to find the spine label information in Alexandria so you know what shelves to check when you come to the library.